So you got your System Center Operation Manager 2019 environment up and running. Now you need to deploy some agents. So today we'll be talking about um, deploying those first agents out to your system. Um, we'll just be focusing on Windows agents for now, but um, we'll go ahead and talk about that. So installing your first Windows agents. Spoiler alert, let's watch and get into it. So let's go. So here we're looking at my, um, in the SCOM console, we're in active alert. So first thing you wanna go is go ahead, click on administration, and then you can click on discovery wizard. And then from this screen here, you wanna click on Windows computer and then click next. So you have a few options here, but I typically do the advanced discovery and it leaves everything else as is. Um, you can click the verify discover computers. Um, that'll actually make, just verify you can reach the system you're trying to deploy agents to. And then here, we're gonna browse for or type computers. So you can go ahead and just type in the name of the system. If it's part of the same domain you're on, you can put the short name or you can put the fully qualified if you want, or you can click browse and type in that same name. Um, once you hit check names, it'll go ahead and populate the name from AD and that will plot down the fully qualified name into the window. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete the short name there. And then I'm gonna click next. And then here we need to specify what account we need to want to use to install. So um, I know my um, action account does not have rights on the server that I specified. So I'm going to go ahead and specify an alternate account. In this case, I'm using an administrator account. And this account is actually a domain admin. Um, so typically you don't want to use a domain admin, but just I just want to illustrate a point here um, what's going to happen. So you see here it failed. And they have given a few different reasons on why it may have failed. So the account you specify has administrator privilege on computer you're trying to discover. It absolutely does. Um, saying the computers you specify are listed in Active Directory, it absolutely is. Computers you specify have necessary ports open, it absolutely does. Um, th this agent has already been discovered by operation manager and needs to be repaired. So that one is not true. So. What is the problem, right? It's not really clear from that. It seemed like I have all the check boxes. Good, so let's go check a look, take a look in Event Viewer. Let's open up Event Viewer and see if there's any details here that can tell us what's going on. So go ahead and expand out Application Services Logs and then go to Operation Manager. So once you're in there, the first thing we hit is say, oh, we got, a, we got an error. So error 7002. So if we go and read what it says um, down at the bottom there, it says um, the health service could not log on the run as account for the management group because it has not been granted to log on as a service right. Hmm, that sounds familiar, doesn't it? Um, sounds very familiar. So if you recall, um, one of the new capabilities in 2019, they mentioned something about log on as a service account. So that's probably something that has changed that is causing a different behavior when I go to try to install an agent on the system or push out an agent from a management server. So let's go jump in and see if we can figure out what's going on here. So identifying the problem. So first thing up, we saw we had that event ID 7002 um, there. And we also recall there's a new capability, service logon is enabled by default in Operation Manager 2019. So what exactly does that mean? So I was trying to push out an agent using a domain admin. And typically we believe like, oh, it's domain admin. It should be able to do everything that it needs to do. Um, however, the service logon right is actually explicitly defined. So in, in this case, out of the box, um, the management server um, does not um, have a policy that's allowing the domain admin to run as a service. 
Um, so when I go to push the agent, what it tries to do in the background, it tries to spin up a uh, additional health service process or actually maybe a monitoring host. Uh, maybe a monitoring host process that it tries to launch in the context of that account I specify running as a service. Um, and it's trying to, going to try to use that to actually push the agent out um, or issue a um, initiate the task to tell the agent to install on, on whatever my target system is. So let's go ahead and try to go and fix that. So what we're going to do here, we're, we're back on our SCOM console here. Um, and, and there are our error again, that 7002 event. So we'll take a look at that. And we see in the user account that I tried to use and the specific error. So what I'm going to do is going to go ahead and open up a run, and then we're going to go look at um, run gpedit.msc to go ahead and open up the group policy, the local group policy um, on the system. And once you're in there, you're going to go ahead and expand out window settings and security settings. And let's make this window a little bit bigger. And then you want to go to local policies and then user rights assignments. So in here, we want to just look around. Let's see, can we find something that says log on as a service? And there we go. Something called log on as a service as a policy. And what do we see here? We see actually um, during the SCOM setup, it actually placed all of my service accounts in this policy. And, and I believe by default, all services already inherit that. Um, so what I need to add here, I need to add my um, SCOM administrator accounts that I will be using to push out agents need to also have that right in order to, to do that task. All right, so you can add the individual users or group. Um, normally it's preferred to use a group if you can. So uh, if you recall earlier, um, I made that SCOM, we, we called out to make a SCOM administrator account. So that will kind of be a, a good candidate for the account we will want to use here because that account is going to have anyone that would actually be able to see the administration tab uh, for one. And then they'll also would be able to, um, once we grant their appropriate permissions, they'll be able to um, perform this task and actually push out agents successfully to the system, theoretically. So let's, let's see how that goes. So let's fix the problem. So we're gonna add logon as a service, right? To the appropriate system or to the appropriate group. So in my case, I'm, I have a group named SCOM UAT administrators. So I, I added that group into the policy. Um, this change we want to implement, implement it on all of the management servers. So if you have multiple management servers, um, you want to be sure that um, you're applying that to all of them. Or you can do it through group policy. So as the, if you have a larger environment, it's probably better to try to do it through group policy um, as, as opposed to doing it manually if you can. And then after you apply that setting, you will need to reboot. Um, you will need to reboot the management servers. And then after the servers have rebooted, uh, you can come back and try again, right? Go come back and try that same task again. And as you see here in my environment, after I tried that the second time after the reboot, I was able to come back in here. And this time it did successfully discover um, that server because it was able to successfully kick off that process as the user account that I specify as a service, as opposed to uh, um, prior prior versions of SCOM would have launched that as a, like I think a login, it will log in locally essentially and, and spawn that process. So that, that's kind of one of the under the hood cover, under the hood changes um, in 2019 that will, um, um, you have to do something slightly different than you've had to do in, in the past. So moving on, so uh, since we have that discovered now, we can just continue installing our first agent. So after we will go ahead and check the box to um, select that server, uh, we'll leave it at agent and we'll go ahead and click next. And then once we get to this next screen here, uh, if, you're, if you're not paying attention that much there, you'll see there's something new here, new stuff. 
Um, so we have a nice little new checkbox here. So what is that? Install APM checkbox for that. Um, so now um, right here in the wizard, you have the option to not install the APM components of the Microsoft monitoring agent. Um, agent. Um, so you just simply uncheck that box and then what now when once it goes to push that agent out, it will not deploy APM if you don't want that deployed on your system. And because um, like uh, I think starting like um, SCOM 2016, um, there was a bug out of the box that causes caused um, if APM was present, it would cause um, crashes um, with certain .NET framework applications, um, including um, certain portions of SharePoint. If you're running, it, it could cause um, crashes and prevent them from running um, until that bug was fixed a really long time later. I think it wasn't fixed until UR6 of um, SCOM 2016. So that bug was around for quite a long time. So customers had to do a workaround by manually pushing the agents out um, without the APM using no APM flag. So now um, you can do it right from the wizard. You don't, you no longer have to do that manual um, pushing the agent out um, through other means. All right, so go ahead, finish. Um, that should kick off the job. And assuming like there's no um, firewall issues or anything like that, it should be able to spawn up the process and start inst and start that installation off for you. So in my case, I was successful. I was able to successfully push that agent out to my SQL um, management server using using this method.